Dr. Lena Wednesday began early, first training Baltimore City police officers how to use the prescription opioid antidote known as naloxone. And this is not just an abstract problem. It's something that affects all of us, but there is something that we can do today. It is surprisingly easy. Pull off red safety guard. The injectable version speaks to you, instructing you how to shoot the antidote right into the muscle. Three, two, one. Injection complete. No needle or medicine was actually used on Dr. Wen, but the nasal mist is the real thing. And she showed me how to do that too. But with either method, 911 is to be called after you first check the individual is actually unresponsive. You inject half into one nostril and half into the other nostril. When anti drug advocate Mike Gimble, a former heroin addict himself, heard about my training, he contacted me, concerned that naloxone, without enough addiction treatment, sends the wrong message. When they wake back up, if you don't get that addict into treatment immediately, there's at least a 90% chance they're going to use again, and overdose again, and again, and again. With treatment wait times estimated at four days in the city, Dr. Wen acknowledges that is not acceptable. We have to increase our treatment availability so that people at the time that they overdose, at the time that they're seeking treatment, they can get the treatment that they need. But that doesn't mean that in the meantime, we shouldn't save that person's life. So a few things. First, if you have misdiagnosed someone and inject them or miss them, Dr. Wen says there is no ill side effect at all. Now, Dr. Wen wrote me a prescription with 12 refills so I can carry the antidote around in my purse if I choose. And just because you think you don't know anyone who is abusing opioids, with nearly 19,000 people using heroin in the city, how do you really know that you don't know? Live in the studio, Deborah Wiener, WBAL, TV 11 News.